So I'm doing a speed walkthrough of our two most popular premium features. The first one is best in bags, which is like best in slot, but for the gear you already own. The other feature is the upgrade finder, which helps you find the best sources for new gear. So which raid bosses have the best loot for you? Which bosses should you spend your bonus rolls on? Or what about mythic dungeon loot? Is any of that still good for you? It answers all of these questions. Let's jump right in. The most popular premium feature is Best in Bags. Mr. Robot looks at all of the gear you've accumulated and tells you the best items to equip. He even takes into account items that have been Warforged, Titanforged, or have a socket, and then compares them to items that have a lower item level but have better stats. So he does it all for you. First, go in game and open your bags and banks so our add-on can take inventory of all of the items you own. Then grab this text from the Export tab. Return to our site with your character loaded and paste the text in this Best in Bags box. Click the green button, and there you have it. If you want to get fancy, click this button here to export back to the add-on. Copy the text, go to the gear tab of the add-on, and click the orange import button and paste the text. You'll see the suggested best gear show up here with an E next to any item that's already equipped. Click the green button at the top to equip the gear. You'll see everything uh, slowly change to have E's next to all of it, and you're all set. So once you have the best gear equipped, you move on to the upgrade finder, which identifies the best sources for better gear. For example, you can see which dungeons have the best gear or which raid bosses have the best loot for your bonus rolls. So let's take a look at the best dungeons that this character should run. You see the dungeon listed here on the left with all the icons for the possible upgrades to the right. Now here's a little tip. Uh, see how some of these icons are a little faded and others are really bright? So the faded ones have a lower chance of being dropped because they're Titan Forged or maybe they're Ultra Titan Forged with plus 25 or something. If you expand the list, you can see the chance of it happening over here on the right. So if you don't want to see any upgraded versions, uncheck the Smart Mode box. So Smart Mode is a feature we added for Legion to handle the randomness of item upgrades. If a basic non-upgraded version of an item is not better for you, we upgrade it until it is better for you. So that way you can see what might happen if you get lucky, as well as how lucky you have to be in order to get an item that is better for you from this source. So you can get a quick view of which dungeons have a lot of basic upgrades by turning smart mode on and off. Now let's take a quick look at the bonus rolls list. So you see here that both Mythic and Heroic are listed, as well as every boss, including the end bosses. But that isn't what my team will be doing, so let's change the filters really quickly. So I'm going to turn off Nighthold, as well as Mythic Emerald Nightmare for now, and let's also look at the just the first few bosses, which is what we'll be doing at the beginning of raids for my team. So then I just click Save, and then also click the Find Upgrades button again, because the list will have changed, and uh, I can see how my new filters affected that. So the filters also come in handy if I just want to look at the raid gear across all bosses that I'll be doing the first week. And you can see that if a lower skill level uh, still has a really big upgrade for you that's worth farming, like an 850 from a normal mode, uh, that's a big upgrade because my currently equipped item is that bad. <laughs> that's the super fast overview of our two most popular premium features. Have fun, and if you have questions, hit us up.